if CYA is 100 plus PPMs, can you do an effective algae treatment? If so, how high of free chlorine PPM do you have to keep and for how long? That's actually one of the easiest questions I can get. And okay. It, it took a while to do this, but here's the key. And first of all, I want to tell you that when you have a cyanuric acid reading of 100, the very first thing you need to do is a dilution test and repeat it. And the okay. reason is that most of the tests go to 100. And so if you have 200 or 300 or 400, it looks like 100. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing you want to do is find out if it's really 100. Uh -huh. And so you do that by taking some bottle of water and mixing it with an equal amount of pool water, whatever mm -hmm. size measuring thing you have, 50% pool water, 50% bottle of water, mix them together, mm -hmm. repeat the test. And then whatever the test results are, you multiply it times two. And that's a dilution test. And if it mm -hmm. still gives you 100, then the next time you do the same test, you use one measure of pool water and two measures of, of bottle water. And then uh -huh. you repeat the test and multiply it times three. Uh -huh. And that way you can find out what your cyanuric acid level. So that's the first thing to do is verify the cyanuric acid level. Because if you don't, this method won't work. But okay. the next thing you do, and this will work in probably, I'm going to be conservative and say 100% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of chlorine you need in the pool is. 40% of the cyanuric acid level. 40% of the cyanuric acid. You understand? 40% yeah. of the cyanuric acid level. So if you have 100, you need 40 parts per million of chlorine in the pool. Wow. And you need to maintain 40, not just put it in and keep it for 48 hours. You need uh -huh. to maintain 40 parts per million for 48 hours. And, and the yeah. way you do it is, in the beginning, when you first put it in, you have to measure the chlorine level about once every hour or two. And if the chlorine level has gone down very much, you need to add more chlorine to get back up to 40. And any time the chlorine level dips down by more than a few parts per million, you need to put it back up to 40. Back up. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to do that for a minimum of 24 hours. And then after that, you can widen the length of time so that maybe after 24, maybe after two hours, when you measure it the next time, it hasn't gone down. Then what you do is you wait another two hours and see if it's gone down. And if it hasn't gone down, then you can wait four hours. And you keep doubling the amount of time as long as it's not going down, you see. So you could get to the point where, you know, you could see where overnight, if it didn't go down, then, then it's done. But when the chlorine level stops going down for some period of time, whichever period you're at, when it doesn't change, that's when you've killed all the algae. And, and then you can go back to, to a regular amount of chlorine. And a regular amount of chlorine, we get that asked too, is, is when is it okay for swimmers to get in the pool? And there right. are two answers to that. And the legal answer, which I'm required to give you, <laughs> I am required to give you this. The EPA says the maximum level for bathers to re-enter the water is four parts per million. And I'm going to tell you that 10 parts or even probably 12 parts per million of chlorine will not hurt anybody. But but the legal the legal answer is four parts per million, and it states that on every label of every chlorine product in the pool industry. So mm -hmm. it says that. So, mm -hmm. but there are state laws um, in practically all states that say that you can shock up to ten parts per million. So the key to the the FIFRA standard or the EPA standard is that that they say for bathers to re-enter the water. So you could uh -huh. shock with 10 and they could get back in when it's, when it's four.
But from a practical standpoint, I would say that part of it has to do with the um, level of cyanuric acid. Mm -hmm. Because as you may or may not know, depending on where you've been, that when you have cyanuric acid in the water, if it's above 30 parts per million, 97% or more of your chlorine is bound to cyanuric acid. There's only mm -hmm. 3% of the chlorine that's in the water that's killing anything. And then of that 3%, 50% is HOCl and 50% is OCl. Mm -hmm. Only 50% of the 3% is in the killing form. So I'm telling you, pay attention, only 1.5 percent of all the chlorine that's in your pool is HOCl, and that's the only thing that's killing anything that's in your right. pool. That's the only thing. So you need to be aware of that, and um, it's even worse if the pH goes up. Now instead of of 50 percent of 3 percent, now you're talking about 30 percent of 3 percent. <laughs> so it it gets bad quick. So yeah. Um, oh, the other thing about the the algae with the forty per, forty percent, uh, probably the quickest thing to do instead of adding forty parts per million or more of chlorine to the pool is to drain part of the water and fill it back up, and then you need, only need forty percent of fifty parts per million. Yeah. Instead of forty per forty percent of a hundred parts per million. Uh -huh. So yeah. You know so. Uh, it's it's better if you can do that. So um, anyway, but that's that algae is the way you do that. So 